What's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I've got the X9000 installed on the stock battery bike. It's a 2022, so I think it's a 38 amp hour battery. Um, I've had a little play with it. I've tried to set it up the best I can, try and get the top speed without cutoffs. Um, yeah, I've got a new app. Well, let's see what we can get today. There we go. I think I've got the app working now. Hopefully that's in time enough. I don't want to lose my phone out here. Um, I've got to do a speed run now. That was a uh, 64 top speed then. Kicking in mode two, about 95%. Going by the app there, we reached 77 kilometers an hour tops. There's only so much you can draw from these batteries before they do trip. Um, we'll do mode three. I think that's set at six kilowatts. 350 phase amps. I'll check the settings when we get back. Um, we'll do just another speed run. We'll see how we go on this one. Mode 3 was worse. Alright, for the settings, got the stock battery, street mode, 60 amp on the battery current. So, mode 2 worked the best. That was at 5 kilowatt, 6 kilowatt, just didn't get that top speed. That's at uh, 300 phase amps. Don't know if you can see that. There you go. So mode two at five kilowatt, 300 phase amps, top speed of 77 kilometers an hour, which is pretty good, I reckon, for a stock battery. Actually, surprise with those at top speed, and I feel weakening set at 50%. Uh, street mode there, you see 60 amp. Now take this 60 volt out and we got the big 72 EBMX, 7242 amp hour battery. See I tried to put a sticker on there, cover it up just to make it look a bit cleaner on the bike. But uh, yeah, it's such a tight fit, it scratched it up already. That's alright, let's chuck her in, give it a run, 72 volts. like a glove right to show you how easy it is to switch between batteries that was 60 volt stock battery I've put in the 72 volt EBMX battery now I go in my battery type go into the batteries 20s is the 72 volt it is 72 stock harness and plug okay save that that will automatically change a whole heap of your settings this time I'm going to go into race mode when I um, take it back out there I'm not going to change any of these settings these settings are all set already um, yeah I don't want to mess with them they're all pretty good and they work so why mess with a good thing that's all I have to do just change your battery type change your battery model and save it we'll come back out here just switch it up to not that one switch it back to race i want to race go in race mode there we go now it's set at uh 15 kilowatt all right we've got the 72 volt in we'll do mode one first test out the top speed i expect a lot of difference in this this is a big boy battery a lot of power let's give it a run in mode one As you've seen there, that was uh, 101 kilometers an hour in mode one. All right, so I'll put it in mode two. We'll test out another top speed, see if we get a bit faster. Let's go. They got a 108, man, it is quick. Got it in mode three now. Okay, so I didn't realize that uh, mode three is not generally gonna be your top speed. It's all dependent on your settings. 
Now these are as factory settings from EBMX. Sure, if we played around with the settings, we can get a higher top speed. I am running a 48 tooth sprocket. Still got the uh, the belt in there, and uh, the 17 inch supermoto's on. So I'm sure if we played with all those, all those speeds will change. But let's just give you some idea of what you'll get on the factory settings with the 72 volt battery. All right, so that's it. You can run the stock battery with the X9000. Your top speed, I think, it was 71 kilometers an hour. Um, 71, 77, I can't remember. But um, it does work. You have to have it set quite low. And uh, it still run fine, it just run like anything else. Would I recommend getting the X9000 on a stock battery? Uh, nah, it's not worth it. You might as well bypass it. If you're gonna bypass it, definitely get that done. Uh, if you get a good deal on X9, buy it. But um, no controller is gonna pull more power out of a stock battery. It's, the battery is the limit. The BMS is only gonna let you take so much from it. I'd bypass. If I was gonna run a stock battery, I'd bypass it. Run the X9, seven kilowatt, I think it is, seven, eight kilowatt, uh, and that is a lot of fun. I did run that with my back 8000, and that was good. It just didn't have the, uh, the range that I wanted. Running the 72 with the X9, that saw a top speed of 108 kilometers an hour, and that was on the stock setup that EBMX have put in there. You can change all those, probably get a bigger top end. Um, I just wanted to run the stock version of it, I didn't want to play around with it too much. Also, running the uh, 48 sprocket, probably go smaller to get a better top speed. 17-inch um, supermotos, I'm not sure how that's gonna affect the top speed. The gearing is set up in the app, so the speed should be right, but the GPS was saying anyway, so yeah. That's the X9000 set up, and uh, it's good to go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.